Shri verse number 61 OV number 1310 this is from where we have to start or 11 1311 we have to start and what we have been seeing last week we could uh, the verse was ishwara sarva bhutanam ruddesh arjuna tishthati brahmayan sarva bhutani yantrarudhani mayaya with this awareness we have to move around in this world and where do we move around wherever life is placing us see ishwara sarva bhutanam this should be our disposition but what is our disposition god is somewhere far away i am in this body and i have to reach god <laughs> that means he is not here right now he is not available right now this wrong conclusions of our life we have to sort them out that's why we come to the satsang so with, with that little bit a uh, bra uh, 1311 brahma ka ce ni sange jai se loho vedharige tai si ishwar satta yoge cheshtati bhute जैसे चेष्टा आपुलिया समुद्रा दिक धनंजया चेष्टती चंद्रा चिया सन्निधि की तया सिंधु भरिते दाटे सोम कांता पाझरू फुटे कुमुदांस कोरांसा फिटे संकोचूतो संकोचूतो तैसी बीज प्रकृति वशे अनेके भूते ये के ईशे चेष्ट वीजती जो तो असे तुझ्या हृदयी अर्जुन पणन घेता मी ऐसे जे पंडुसुता उठत से ते तत्वता तयाचे रूप बहुत सु ब्युटिफुल ही हॅज गिवन द वे ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज सेज ही सेज जस्ट ॲज iron is set in motion by the magnet so is there motion in the iron or in the nails no but the moment they come in the proximity of a magnet there is an invocation of motion within the inert nail or iron filings isn't it we have seen it i gave you last week the examples of even the comb and the paper balls so where is the activity <laughs> is there activity in the atma that you are or is the activity in the matter vestibule matter vestibule means annamaya kosh pranamaya kosh manomaya kosh vigyanamaya kosh and anandamaya kosh so this five sheets they get activated in the presence of atma just like the iron filings get activated in the presence of a magnet and what are you doing you me everyone what are we doing we have taken a position that i am doing the activity when you say i am doing the activity you become the doer but who are you in essence you are the non doer atma is the non doer so you are always the atma on account of your identification with the movement of matter <laughs> you have 
fallen down from your pristine, immaculate, peaceful, tranquil, all pervasive nature. Ab, who can fix this? A scripture is going to fix it for you. A teacher is going to fix it for you. God is going to come and fix it for you. They can, provided we are available. But only when we are looking for answers outside, then they can help. But you have to approach all these in a correct manner. Best is, you are already that which you are seeking. <laughs> See, when we have created a huge, long life after life journey that I have become uh, been born in a good family because of my past karmas. In this kar life, I will do good karmas and I will be born in a better family next time. And in few lifetimes, I will come to realize by God's grace. So where is your attention? On your karma, on your doing. And where is the doing means activity, doing means movement. Doing means desire, doing means action, and action we know. Manasa, vacha, kaya. Activity is in these places if you want to catch it. Breath also, okay. Activity of waker, dreamer, sleeper. They come and go, come and go. See? And we have got identified with that. So which means every time we say that everything is happening in our life because of our karma that we have done, all the merits and demerit points that we have collected in our life, which means we are stressing on our individuality as the real one. Spirituality means dissolution of the individuality. Then why this concept of doership and uh, uh, enjoyership is given? So that you take full responsibility for your life. And don't blame anyone. Once you have taken it, okay, now what's the next step? Next step is, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Radhesha Tishthati. There is no doer. Or if you want to say, if you are so caught up in who is making all this, he is making it all happen. And who is he? Ishwara. Where is he? He is situated in your heart. <laughs> Where will you run away from him? <laughs> Where will you run away? He is the throb. Or in his presence, the heart throbs. In his presence, the matter, body, breath, mind, intellect, they get activated. Oh, really? Then where am I? Oh, you are his reflection. That, again, back to the same thing. Can't hold on to anything. No, you can't. We will not allow you. <laughs> See, how beautiful. Just one example. This comes in Panchadashi also. It comes in many places. In other Upanishads also this is taken. Just, an, uh, just as iron is set in motion by the magnet, so all activities of being, beings take place under the authority of God. Huh? Very simple you can understand. Your mind is God. And the entire dream is the activity that is taking place. Mind does not go anywhere, does not come anywhere in that particular example. But in the mind, all the activity of all the bodies, of all the beings, of all the weather, uh, space, air, fire, water, earth, sun, moon, planets, constellations, everything is moving. But is your mind moving? No. <laughs> mind is only the container in which the whole dream contained is contained and they all activities in that if you can appreciate this example maybe we can take a high jump to the next level <laughs> it will happen automatically if you keep appreciating keep pondering over these examples example is not the answer you must apply it on yourself O Dhananjaya, just as in the proximity of the moon, the ocean and the others start their activities, that is, 
the ocean gets into full tide the moonstone begins to ooze the night lotuses bloom and chakora bird gives up give up their reserve in the same way god goads the beings to set to act through the prakriti see so all the examples i given you one example here another well the nyaneshwar maharaj only gave the example of iron and iron filings in front of a magnet here in front of the moon when it is full moon there is a full tide high tide when there is no moon there is low tide see is the moon saying hey come up otherwise danda padega no he is not punishing it is natural what is the connection between moon and the uh, ocean no connection one is hanging in the sky the other is stuck to the earth <laughs> see yet in his presence in in the presence of the sun what activity takes place not only the activity of the uh, all the people get up birds get up from the waters the water vapors rise water vapors rise only to come back to the waters <laughs> it's a long journey but if you take oh i don't want to leave my ocean my 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 my, my place but it forgets that it is when it is going up it is also water but in a different state what is that you know subtle state then it condenses it becomes a little bit gross then it falls down then it joins other drops then it becomes a river again goes back to the ocean so where is this whole cycle of activity for whom is this cycle of activity for that drop who has which what is a drop infinite water as if identified with one particular form isn't it that drop you are you we have got identified with our my two hands my two legs my pain in the body my headache my uh, uh, white hair my black hair my uh, uh, whatever age etc etc so we have got all the identified but it is the one one alone is take taking different forms and coming back to the original well i can't say original because at any given moment it was always h2o so where is this complete journey of the h2o it is playing with itself same way ishwara is playing with himself and how does he play with himself through prakriti through prakriti so where is movement not in ishwara where is movement only possible in prakriti what is the movement in prakriti satvik rajasik tamasik at individual level how does that satvik rajasik tamasik express waking dream and deep sleep how does it express at the speech level vaikari madhyama pashyanti para how does it express in the kundalini muladhar all the way to sahasrar how does it express in ashtanga yog yama niyama asana pranayam pratyahar dharana dhyan samadhi this is how it expresses this is the imaginary movement in the prakriti the prakriti gets activated see catch this what i have just narrated they are all parallel to each other nothing new is created in this world nothing new it's only recycling <laughs> are new clouds created you see it is new but from h2 a point of view is the same thing getting recycled over and over again so what is prakriti prakriti is same material what is that what is prakriti what is another name for prakriti avyakta unmanifest what does it mean unmanifest that which is existing in its own absence 
then why are we calling it shakti ah, because <laughs> that is its nature all energy energy converts into mass and mass dis destroyed converts into energy where is this possible not in the conscious principle it is possible only in the matter principle that matter principle at totality level is called prakriti and it is the same material what is the material which is going in a cyclical way recycled nothing <laughs> nothing is happening yet it seems something is happening so what is avyakta unmanifest absence so what is getting recycled absence is getting recycled when absence the movement in the absence reaches a particular momentum objects start expressing themselves just like yesterday i gave this example in kathopanishad when water is increasing in its momentum then whirlpools get created whirlpool has the pro, has the capacity to even suck in a, a boat or a person or a ship or small boat or even in a river we are saying but in general water doesn't do anything it's, it's a, but when there is momentum it sucks you in so where there wherever there is momentum there is a crystallization of form whirlpool is a form so consciousness is moving ishvara is everything in that uh, the prakriti is absence it is moving everywhere when it moves whirlpools are created what are those whirlpools called space air fire water earth what are those whirlpools called uh, seema dinesh colin samidha table chair phone light house trees plant all these are diff- same consciousness at a different frequencies it is vibrating and a, a particular form is expressed so oh my god so there is no karma there is no samskar there is no because of prarabdha karma if you come to this point there is nothing <laughs> but till you don't come to this point of understanding take that and these are not thing oh i read that there is no prarabdha so i will not live according to my prarabdha you can't help it <laughs> you can't help it if you think i'm not going to live as the body you can't do it it has to happen it has to happen so here where are we ha huh. just as in the proximity of the moon the ocean and others start their activities the ocean gets into full tide the moon begins to ooze then what does it begins to ooze? the moonlight it oozes the night lotus is bloom huh? in the in the in the presence of the moonlight and chakora birds these are imaginary birds they uh, uh, the chakora birds give up their reserve they only drink the moonlight <laughs> they don't drink any they don't go collect collecting the seeds and uh, filling up their tummy they they wake up in the night they fly and they drink the moonlight uh where are we ha chakra gave in the same way god goads being beings to act through the prakriti so here we are talking from individuality point of view we are the individual beings why we are uh prompted into activity who is prompting us into activity that was the point how it all began it is the lord it is the ishwara who is prompting us into activity how is he prompting us into activity through his prakriti through his through his potentiality through his shakti and all the sadhanas that you do are not in the atma all sadhanas are in the prakriti 
control your senses in the prakriti control your mind in the prakriti control uh, 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 change your notions in the prakriti that is in the intellect move away from the idam thoughts to the i thought it is in the prakriti thought is prakriti <laughs> And every whether you take Ashtanga Yoga, whether you take Kundalini Yoga, whether you take Kriya Yoga, whether you take Bhakti Yoga, whether you take Gyan Yoga, everything leads to silence only. <laughs> everything leads to silence. So what is needed to be silenced? Prakriti needs to be silenced. Atma doesn't need to be silenced. This movement, where is it happening? In the Prakriti, in the matter. This matter needs to silence. Catch this. Once this clicks, you will work on your mind. You will be continuously aware that I must not unnecessarily get involved in every anything or a, and everything. Ek har dur. It's okay. <laughs> huh. One amma came. Swami, you tell my daughter uh, that she should get married. Uh, and we, my husband has gone to India and he's found a boy, nice boy, handsome boy, wants to come and ready to settle in Australia. But my daughter doesn't want to see him. What to do? Should I, should I, should I give her this? Uh, and the daughter comes separately to speak to me. Mother comes separately. Father comes separately. Today the daughter came. No, two days ago the father came. Five days ago the mother came. And I didn't give an answer. So one day suddenly stress. She made her someone uh, to, she can't drive. So she came quickly. I saw you only five minutes. She came. How many you tell me? Should I show her the boy or not? I said, I'm not going to answer. It's your daughter, it's your life, it's your family. After all, Jesus, Swamiji, you said it and this all happened. I'm not taking that responsibility. Why do you come to a Swami? Or why do you come to a Satsang? To become dependent or to become independent? Our job is to empower you to make your own decisions. Not make you leech on to us. That is not our purpose. For some moments, initially to break the ice or for them, if they are so disturbed in their mind that they need some support, we will do that. But after that, slowly, slowly, we keep becoming stricter. <laughs> there is no question of anyone hanging on. No devotees, no disciples. Kotha Upanishad clearly says, this is how we, this is, uh, we can, we, this is the way we know how to teach. No, not Kathopanishad, Keno Upanishad. This is the way we know how to teach. It is up to you to understand or not understand. It's not our responsibility. You ask the question, who inspires? The answer there was, the, the mind of the mind, the speech of the speech, the eye of the eye. He says, yeah, you got, give me a straight answer. This is the way we can teach. You have to understand. No, no, but uh, story over. Ask a pertinent question, we will give you an answer. But how to process it, we will teach you. But processing you have to do. Clarity you have to bring to your mind. And it will not come by thinking. Where thinking stops, then clarity comes. But we think... More thoughts, more questions, more answers. It's not equal to clarity, it's equal to more confusion. <laughs> this basis, basics we don't understand. And in the name of Swami, in the name of God, uh, and we kept, keep downloading and keep expecting uh, answers. It is not that, that's not the way. We have to become if we are by then by nature we are independent atma is independent after some time yes you can go to some swami uh, he, he will answer things are happening but if you don't learn the lesson of making your own decisions after some time 
nobody wants to carry load even a, a office going woman when she comes back home she just puts the load called purse off her shoulder because it's heavy if i give you a piece of paper to hold on on your hand after 10 15 minutes that piece of paper will carry weight your hand will start coming down and you and we are here renouncing everything and you are you want to latch on to it not possible we will not allow it only no sanyasi will allow it no teacher no mahatma will allow anyone to hang on if you are productive if you are adding value to the society if you are adding value in your own life family he is able to see it then it is good then he will answer but if you are continuously caught up where in the matter in the cyclical he see what the te- what the teacher sees the student is not able to see so he has to raise himself up for some time the teacher can come down to your level but he will not stay there if you are not improving see and improvement is not uh, uh, do you want a glass of water can i call you for bhiksha uh, can i drive you here can i drive you there that is not service service is you purify yourself you come to be established in yourself you make decisions of your life by yourself and it is seen in when we come across people we see it in their eyes see and this is what recognizing that all activity is in the prakriti who is the inspirer of the prakriti the lord so he so here what is saying that it is the ishwara who is making all the individual beings in all species to get activated through his prakriti now here we are presupposing a basic understanding that individual being means who is identified with matter <laughs> he is individual isn't he if he is not identified with matter he is ishwara <laughs> ishwara is not identified with his prakriti he is the master of his prakriti so recognize this about yourself where are we ha huh. in the same way god goads the beings to act through the prakriti the same god abides in your heart o dhananjaya the same god abides in your heart hrudaye ti tishthati hrudaya means the heart what is the heart yes for a very gross person it is the physical heart if he falls in love with some object which he likes his heart beat increases but when you move towards your source the heart beat settles down it doesn't increase the gap between heart beat becomes longer and longer swami rama sadguru maharaj our isha foundation and others they have been experimented he is living and he says okay someone said in america i want to uh, check what is your uh, brain activity and heart activity when you are meditating he says give me a minute give me a few seconds hmm go he speaking go you don't go close your eyes for me i why i am not hiding from anything kept his eyes open everything is going on and he kept, went quiet no brain activity no heart beat activity what can you do this frontier the modern science as advanced they may be they have not accessed because they are matter oriented they matter 
So are we mad? Now you, when I make this statement, now you apply it on yourself. Oh, what a great Mahatma Sadguru is. What about you? You're a con you're a confused Atma. <laughs> <laughs> We, we are talk, giving all these examples to up for you to self-reflect. So when we self-reflect, what will be our conclusion? That by nature, I am also beyond activity. Then why do I feel I am in the activity? Or to answer this question, all this was given. Don't remain married to the activity. Identified with the activity. O son of Pandu, the feeling which rises in your mind without allowing itself to be identified with Arjuna is the real aspect of God. Hmm? What is he saying here? Uh, the, 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 the same God abides in your heart the feeling which rises in your mind without allowing itself to be identified with Arjuna. Who is Arjuna? A son of Kunti. Who is Arjuna? The middle brother of uh, Yudhishthir, uh, Bhim, Nakul and Sahadev. Who is Arjuna? Whose father was Pandu. Who is Arjuna? Whose guru is Dronacharya. Who is Arjuna, whose grandfather is the great Bhishmacharya, the invincible? Who is, who is Arjuna, who has never lost a war? Who is Arjuna? We can keep going on and on and on and on. All this data that I am giving you or, or what you have read is equal to Arjuna. That is his blueprint. Take Arjuna out of the equation. Take Arjuna out of the equation. Then who are you? Then it is God speaking through you. If you do not take any role, then it is God speaking. One girl came, yes, last Saturday she came with her husband. I couldn't go to her marriage. So she came, oh, 24 year old, young. She was married last year, one year or two years ago. So she was 22 or 23 that time, young. And when, before she went to marry, she went to meet her boy, mother had introduced. She says, Swamiji, what? Very nicely she came. Swamiji, can I have some time with you? I said, come, I'll make you a coffee. She came. Fixed all time. Tuck, 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 tuck. Swamiji, I'm on time. I said, okay, come sit down. Coffee, coffee, banai, pilaya. I said, yes, now ask me. Now I'm relaxed. Coffee gone in, feeling warm. Swamiji, what should I be looking in a man with whom I want to marry? I said, you are asking a sannyasi? <laughs> What should I be looking in a man? What should I be looking in a... Then she got married. At that time I told, whatever I told, I told. Then she came with her husband last Saturday. She said, Swamiji, this is this. I have fantastic. Come sit down, hugged, sat down. And big smile on her face. I said, yeah. Uh, Enjoying your married life, Swamiji is the best. I said, fantastic. <laughs> and then she said, Swamiji, I still remember what you told me uh, two years or one year ago when I came and when mommy was going to introduce and before I went to see him physically first time or going to talk to him first time on the phone, I wanted, I came and asked you, I said, what did I tell you? Oh, you told me something. Uh, what did I tell you? I can't remember. Did I confuse you or did I clear you? Cl give you clarity or you got clarity? No, no, it was very good. You said don't go after handsome guys. Go fall for a person who loves you more than you love him. The boy suddenly said, Swamiji, that's what I keep telling her. <laughs> his, his, his basics are very clear. 
His basics are so switched on. Only 20, he is how old? He is 25 or 26 years old. See, what are we looking at? Money. What are we looking at? How many properties he has? We are looking at what type of job he is doing. How handsome he is. How many abs does he have? Is he having a long nose or a short nose or a... <coughs> is he getting bald at a young age? <coughs> All the girls, and there is so much pressure because she was only 22, 23. No, no, girls, they, they go and show the photographs to each other. No, 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 he's no. Well, very funny ears he has. Are you going to marry a ear, ear or you're getting married to a boy? Are you getting married to a body? <laughs> Are you getting married to the person behind the body? Think. Don't stop there. Are you getting knowledge through words? Or are you in touch, in connection with the person, with the person who's behind the words? Are you listening to the words? Are you in tune with the person that I am because of whom this, this listening is taking place? Then true marriage is taking place. Then there is connection. But if you look at only surface value, you will only get surface pleasure. <laughs> That's all. It's, it cannot last. See? So here, O son of Pandu, the feeling with which rises in your mind without allowing itself to be identified with Arjuna. Who is, what is that conscience, that inner voice? Wherever, whatever we are doing, whenever we are doing something wrong, whenever we are doing something wrong, whenever we are misappropriating, whenever we are misbehaving, the inner voice tells us this is not right. It may not say that this is not right. It is better to respond in this particular manner. It will give you the right answer. But you are so identified with your... Uh, personality that in spite of listening to that voice you continue to function in the default way not ready to correct ourselves that voice which is coming from integrity which is coming from conscience which is coming from intuition intuition conscience all this cannot happen just by themselves. You can develop it, but even in the worst person, even in that Ratnakar Daku, that decoit called Ratnakar, who had murdered so many people, who had looted so many people, and why did he do that? Only because he had a sense of duty towards his mother, father, wife and children. He thought, this is the only profession I know and I will do it to my best availability. Until and unless he met Narad Muni. The moment he met Narad Muni, the inner goodness which was inherent with him, what was the bad uh, nature coming out of? It was expressing because of him accepting that I am doing my duty, duty was with regards to someone outside. And that crystal ball was broken when Naraji said, go and find out if they will take a percentage of your sin that you have committed. Have you committed sin? Yes, I have committed sin. But is it not my duty? We are also doing, is it not my duty to take care of my family and my body and my job and my, uh, all this? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to establish yourself doing a duty, trying to maintain, which is continuously changing. Are you stupid? Body is continuously changing, we want to maintain. 
house is continuously crumbling we want to keep it as it was when it was built not possible the child is continuously changing and grown grown up to be teenager or youth we want to still consider a small my pappu <laughs> my pappu is <laughs> you the child has grown the mother has not grown until and unless by god's grace scriptures come into our life masters come into our life god comes into our life or there is an inner explosion by his grace in whichever manner because it takes only one moment to flip go how long it takes from for the for the from going from tails to head immediate just one flick that's all how long does it take you from being a father to get, be, being a becoming a, 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 a husband it's flick of not even a second think instantaneous that instantaneous all is possibility is within us to go from individuality to infinity so are we going to continue to live a life the wrong way no when it clicks it clicks it may, it has not clicked that's why you were born <laughs> you did not click therefore you are born what about you swami ji paritranaya sadhu naam bina chai chandashkrita last time you did not learn from me properly is bar aake dande marunga again <laughs> see learn it it's instantaneous shift for many or for those chosen ones or on whom the lord has graced he is gracing all the time we have to become available and the way to become available is to to have the vision what is the vision ishwara sarva bhuta naam rudeshe ti tishthati brahmayan सर्व ब्राह्मयन सर्वभूता यंत्रारूढ़ा मयया आई हेव दिस विजन सो हु इज दिस यू आर दिनेश यू आर कॉलिन दिस इज स्वामी हु इज द रियल वन हियर इज स्वामी द रियल वन is colin the real one is dinesh the real one who is the real one this dinesh is only the dinesh in waking in dream every day he changes body <laughs> all of us isn't it so which one are we are we the waker dinesh or are we the dream person or are we nobody that is in the deep sleep which one are we if you look for that fellow in deep sleep you will not find him or you will find him but you, you have no capacity to search for him in the deep sleep because you are in the lap of ignorance in the dream you cannot search for him because the the thoughts are going so fast time is going so fast the body is changing so fast that you are unable to hold on to anything just like you are standing on the river side the river is flowing so fast you can't catch the river so also in the waking are we able to catch that fellow it is possible because in the waking only we can do discrimination in the waking only we can understand in deep sleep we cannot understand anything in dream forget it the moment you wake up you forget everything so what do you 
how do you know who is this person who is other than arjuna who is this person who is other than the waking dream and deep sleep who knows right now when you nod that yes i know that every day i experience waking dream and deep sleep states the one who nodded the one who cognized this the one who understood this the one who knows is the real one it cannot be the waker it cannot be the dreamer it cannot be the sleeper that real one is your true nature now again and again challenge yourself to come to this point and one way to come to this point is ishwara sarva bhutanam rudeshayati tishthati see that this entire game is uh, uh, the play of maya and how does she play how does is the play of the lord you can say and how does he play he plays it through the prakriti yantra rudhani he plays it through the instruments what are the instruments body is an instrument breath is an instrument thoughts are the instrument mind is instrument intellect is instrument totality individuality is an instrument waking dream deep sleep is an instrument everything is in it but what is the basis of all the variety this body with the senses and mind he uses this, this to play the play the game does he really do anything we already told you in the presence of magnet matter or iron filings automatically become activated so in the presence of the ishwara the prakriti the matter automatically gets activated in the presence of the real you the waker dreamer sleeper get activated where are these three in your mind so mind gets activated what is the activation sattva rajas tamas waking is sattva rajas is dream tamas is deep sleep activation on so either you zoom in or you zoom out quick do it and catch it but we want to hang in between neither we want to zoom in completely nor we want to zoom out completely therefore now 1316 where are we ya lagito prakriti te pravart bhilahe nirute aani te jhunj vilatu te na jhunj jhunj shi zarhi manavni ishwar gosavi tene prakriti he nemavi tiya sukhe rabavavi इंद्रिय आपुली तू करणे न करणे दोन्ही लावूनी प्रकृतीच्या मानी प्रकृती ही का अधिनी हृदयस्था जया ही सेज देर फोर गॉड विल गोड युअर प्रकृती सी ही इज नॉट सेंग गॉड विल गोड गॉड विल गोड गॉड विल गोड युअर प्रकृती विच इज युअर प्रकृती द पंचकोशास the five sheets god means you know what you know what is a god that huge elephant with so immense power is controlled by one god the mahut who is sitting on the elephant he uses that arrow shaped thing with a hand and he just touches it on the neck and with that alone he is able to bring that massive elephant under his control bhagwan also with the small he with that he goads so if the elephant is sitting quiet he is not moving the goad goes into his neck not blood or anything just a pinch and the elephant starts moving because he has been trained to go in a particular way similarly the lord how does the lord do god just by attention just by attention where do you feel the pain right now you were not but if i say where do you feel suddenly your attention goes or everywhere <laughs> but till now that thought had not come in your mind isn't it <laughs> but the moment we said this is the godin 
so sometimes silence can be a trigger sometimes a word can be a trigger just as we saw the examples before moon is just presence of the moon is trigger for the ocean to be in high tide the sun is just being there that his presence is acting as the goad to wake everyone up to make the whole creation wake up understand the goad so here it is saying the ishwara uh, the, the therefore god will goad your prakriti what can you goad only the prakriti atma never sleeps atma never wakes up atma never dreams then who wakes up who dreams who sleeps the mind the prakriti who who is born and who is uh, who becomes uh, what birth growth disease decay death who for whom is this uh, change not for you for the prakriti who has a good vision and now has got no vision for the prakriti specific prakriti eyes swami ji ah <laughs> it's the year you have got identified with the year so your problem don't get identified so therefore god will goad your prakriti which will then compel you to fight so there is there is a divine inspiration there is a divine program there is a blueprint based upon which the prakriti is working what is the prakriti this body so this body why my body is separate to your body different from your body why all the bodies don't look the same all dogs look the same but each one has his own character or own uniqueness isn't it every tree is a uh, gum tree or a pine tree but everyone is unique in his own, in its own way so what is the difference that is your blueprint so who does god trigger god the prakriti and when he goads that prakriti the one who is identified with the prakriti has no choice but to be pulled in the direction in which the matter or the body or the breath or the senses or the mind or the intellect are pulling him <laughs> and arjuna has been programmed to be a great warrior to fight injustice to live for righteousness he says you don't want to remember now he is talking it in from the first what happened in the first and beginning of second chapter i don't want to fight he says you don't fight god will by the inspiration of the god divine this body which has got a particular program it is identified with being a warrior it is it is tuned up to be a warrior it is tuned up to never lose a war it is tuned up to fight for righteousness it will not stop it will move in that direction and when it moves arjuna you will be helplessly going with that body how very simple example you don't create hunger hunger gets created where does hunger get created or express itself does it express in the self that you are or it is in the body in the in the tabi and when the hunger comes what happens you are helpless you move towards the kitchen you gravitate towards the kitchen no 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 i am going to sit uh, i am going to control, self control <laughs> try for some time but we get okay some people may control the food, the urge to eat what about bladder pressure <laughs> you didn't create it but you can control 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 but afterwards it becomes unbearable who who cares lecture going on hey time out <laughs> put everything on pause go and come back isn't it what happened there and you watch 
if this has happened to you during a satsang or at your work you control it for some time but a point comes you you are uh, uh, you get carried away by the prakriti isn't it and that is what arjuna is being told by shri krishna that oh arjuna when the lord activates uh, in his presence or he goads the prakriti you who is an individual arjuna is an individual you will be helpless you will just follow the prakriti you you cannot sit quiet your mind has certain program your program is mind's program is i must fight for injustice so you may sit for some time after if if so many people you will see dying eventually you will jump into the action into the action of war because you will it is not you are not made up in that manner i will not go to the loo you are not made up you better you go for some time you can control god is the lord of all beings god is the lord of all beings and the controller of prakriti who is an individual he is the slave of prakriti god is the lord of prakriti so what are all the sadhanas kundalini sadhana ashtanga yoga sadhana kriya yoga sadhana uh, uh, gyana yoga sadhana bhakti yoga sadhana what are they trying to what what is the result by practicing those only one you are not the prakriti get out of the enslavement to get out the enslavement you have to get out of the entanglement to get out of the entanglement you have to rather than accept yourself as the prakriti you have to again and again watch yourself and see hey i am the sakshi of the prakriti i am the observer of the prakriti i am aware of the prakriti i am watching everything coming and going i am not coming and going the wife comes husband comes out child comes father comes out man remains the same who becomes disturbed husband who becomes disturbed disturbed father what about man sakshi <laughs> take that position take that position again and again we have to this is called tapasya this is called tapasya that you continuously again and again your nature the the nature of the of the prakriti is pulling you in one direction and you are coming back to the you are insisting that you are not the prakriti you are the observer of the prakriti you are the witness of the prakriti you have to keep thinking about it talking about it speaking about it contemplating about it and one day suddenly it will click if you practice vaikhari madhyama pashyanti para it clicks very quickly whichever whatever path is suitable for you you decide maybe it is uh, every hey it is there so much variety today which one which way it is going to reveal okay tomorrow ah uh, yesterday was done it's over why should i repeat the same thing today how it is going to reveal again a new way every moment is new let it reveal god is the lord of all beings and the controller of prakriti so when individual comes to be the master of prakriti he and god are not separate then can man say i am god <laughs> can the individual say i am god no why by by virtue of the fact that he, he is saying that so god cannot say that 
therefore the man cannot say that. Good. Someone's listening, contemplating. Because when the individual transcends Prakriti, he is none other than God. There is no one left behind to say that I am God. <laughs> Once the river merges, remember that example? The river merges into the ocean, there is no river left behind to say that I have merged into the ocean. Now I am the ocean. Can't say. Ocean never says. I am the ocean. He is always the ocean. It is therefore meet that you should make your sense organs to act freely in accordance with your nature. So, let... So where has this doubt come from? Where this has, has this identity crisis come from in Arjuna? That I don't want to fight. It is a sin. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to fight this war. I don't want to be the cause of so many people's death. Because he was an adept uh, archer. In one, they were uh, Maharathi or Atirathi. Bolte te, na, unko. They could fight with 10, 10,000 warriors single-handedly. That power they had. They could shoot that many arrow, arrows. Like one atom bomb can kill millions in one go. See? So, here, uh, the Lord Krishna is telling him that then it is meet that you should make your sense organ to act freely in accordance with your nature. Nature, Swabhava. Remember that was what we were talking few verses before? I think 60th verse. Swabhava and Swarup. So what is your Swabhava? What is your nature? Your nature is that of a warrior. A righteous warrior. Then allow the senses and the, allow the, the Panchakoshas, the body, breath, senses, mind and intellect. Let them follow the swabha. Let us let it follow the swabha. One child was there on the Bombay intersection. One old lady was sitting, and one child was sitting next to her. And the old lady, she is blind or losing her eyes, and she is asking. Nobody is giving her any dakshina. The child on the side, maybe five, six years old, nobody is giving her also any dakshina. Eventually, some person was sitting and he was observing and people would come over the day. They would give 5 paisa, 10 paisa, 50 paisa, 1 rupee coin to the young girl but not to the old lady. Hmm? Why? What is the thought behind? This old lady has already lived her days. Anytime she will pop off. This young girl has a huge, long life in front of her. So let us, they feel the pity and they gave her. This was their nature. Those who gave the money, they gave to the young girl, not to the old lady. What was the nature of the young girl? When the lunch time came, she collected all the money. She went to the shop. She bought two samosas and she gave it to the young, the old lady. When the old lady has tasted it, she says, Samosa, better you had it or not? She says, no, I am young. I got whole time to eat. You, you need it more. What was her nature? She couldn't stop from not... The, can, no, no, I am young. I need to fill my tummy. Then I will take care. With the next money that comes, then I will buy something for the old lady. Anyway, she has got longer stamina, more stamina. She has lived longer. So she has got more stamina to remain hungry. I am only a small one. I just started my life. I don't have stamina. This is how we think, no? When we don't talk to other people this way, but these are the thoughts going on in our head. That child also could have thought, compared herself in that manner. But instead, what was the natural, the swabhav of that 
person to a compassion service ready to give and what give what everything that she had whatever the few rupees that she collected with that money all she could get was two samosas and she didn't even keep one for herself she gave it to the old lady swabhav we are talking about here she is far 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 evolved than all the people who gave that 1 1 rupee or 50 50 paisa uh, to, to that young girl where are we where are we when the children come uncle uncle 2 dollar donation uh, give me uh, you do not give me receipt <laughs> no we regularly tithe <laughs> this is a modern thing you know tithing is not just by money it is by your seva it is by your thoughts remember manasa vacha kaya what attitudes you are having what uh, is your desire for the self or is your desire for seeing everyone as the children of god <laughs> as the lord says is your attention is your attention your mind working for the community or only for me and my family my children it's sakuchit you know it's very very narrow mindedness that child is far far more broad minded than many many sanyasis it is ha huh? so it is therefore meet that you should make your sense organs to act freely don't how do you make the sense organ to act freely what are the sense organs how many are there not a trick question five how many sense organs are there five five plus mind 1 6 six mind is also considered as sense organ just to differentiate we say five sense organs but mind is also a sense organ so six you should make your sense organs to act freely how do you make the senses and the mind to act freely now this is the question answer okay in the way he says don't get in the way question 2 how do you get in the way ha <laughs> huh? how do you get in the way correct by giving attention to the senses the moment you give attention to the eyes you become the seer महात्मा है भैया द मोमेंट यू गिव अटेंशन टू द सी आईज यू बिकम द यू बिकम द सीयर यू गिव अटेंशन टू द लेग यू बिकम द फीलर ऑफ द पेन द मोमेंट यू गिव अटेंशन टू द डिजायर यू बिकम द डिजायर द मोमेंट यू गिव अटेंशन टू द वेकिंग वर्ल्ड you become the waker who is a mahatma who allows the instruments to function the matter to all the senses to function but he does not become identified with them so he sees without seeing he hears without hearing he talks without be becoming a talker uh, okay think he he sees without becoming a seer he talks without becoming a talker he experiences without becoming a experiencer people will see that hey mahatma is speaking but in him the instrument is doing he is not interfering with it he is not interfering with it. it's a very 
it's a it's it's not you cannot catch it you cannot catch it i'll give you one example just yesterday only it happened this one moment of her realization <laughs> i was going to fiji temple yesterday to give a talk and they told me one day we were they told me swami ji you are coming i said okay tuesday evening is free oh, what do you want what should you want me to talk anything you want to talk to me i said okay i'll do bara khadi i have to complete that uh, i looked at what the verses have to go and go okay and when i am driving it takes about 15 minutes to go there so i always put some bhajan and something and i was just empty i i satsang hai tummy is full mind is empty you have to go and just sit there and total trust that whatever has to come out will come out because basics are very clear now i don't have to think but while in that i didn't drive from the house only i went out of the house i parked my car and i am looking what should i should i listen to news nahi yaar should i listen to bhajan nahi yaar then i found oh i have, suddenly the inside voice came rajesh varanand ji i opened this, i have i have what do you call subscribe for him i to ah uh, how to control the mind nahi how to do this nahi hanuman ji nahi 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 and then i got so frustrated everything mind is saying no i said pressed one and i put it on and it started and the topic was uh, kaap bhushundi and garudji samvad i didn't even know out of frustration i did it kaap bhushundi and garudji samvad i reached fiji temple and i said uh, okay the uh, puja was going on 10 minutes later the class i sat down everything was set up i took out my book from my pocket kak bhushan no swami ji there is ramayana in front of you you have to teach, take ramayana i no problem i can take acha what do we have to take the ramayana wahan pe swami ji mark laga hua hai there is a marker just open that page see what it is open what was the topic kak bhushan ji and garud ji sambhad when you are this is just an example this is a rare example huh, in my life <laughs> but when you are being a nobody when you are being a nobody you are in tune there is no regrets in life there is no running away from life you find yourself watching whatever is unfolding today someone asked swami ji swami ji is coming only for 10 days and i don't i didn't get a satsang i said uh, then i explained swami ji normally comes for 14 days he is coming only for 10 days this time and some people uh, we have i have asked so i given them the satsang no but i didn't get a satsang i said yeah see this this evening is free this morning is free uh, this afternoon is free this for last day is free and the answer came okay uh, we will just flow with how it unfolds and that is our mantra <laughs> let's see how it unfolds it does not mean that we don't we 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 are not uh, not we i should not say it does not mean that the effort must not be put who is putting the efforts him how he is putting the efforts by goading the senses <laughs> by goading the prakriti who are you watcher be the watcher it's such a joy it's such a masti after when you think abhi jo maine example diya kaak bhushundi garud ka this is one example i can give you hundreds of examples like this maybe you all also have such examples in your life mahatma doesn't talk about such examples because he is continuously in that he only opens his mouth to give examples when there is someone in front of him 
अदरवाइज इट डजेंट A teacher will give answer only when a question is asked. Otherwise, what? If you if you keep talking about it, then अपने मुंह में या मिठू हो जाता है। क्या बोलते हैं English में इसको? <laughs> English translation नहीं है। You are singing your own glory. हाँ, ah, okay. But this possibility is there in every one of us because we are that. That is why our scriptures say, "Tattva Masi, you are that." Your Lord is saying, "Hey, I alone am functioning through you. I am situated in your heart. I am making the equipment function. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way, and see the see the cinema unfold. You know." and that's what then the next verse will tell what arjuna will say here he says that it is therefore meet that you should make your sense organs act freely in accordance with your nature so if you feel that i am uh, this this thought came in our 6th chapter also majority of the people want to copy what other people are doing if that person is wearing this type of pant i will also oh what course are you doing psychology now that everyone is wanting to do psychology what are you doing you must have seen as a young kid whoever you are impressed by you start walking like them you start talking like them you start having a hairstyle like them you start uh, make doing makeup like them you start wearing those type of clothes you try to mimic create isn't it so what are you doing here copy paste you are doing copy paste is that you temporarily it feels as if it is you but you live alone you get out of that environment suddenly you come to know kya phatichar <laughs> no makeup nothing no hairstyle <laughs> so here he says that act freely in accordance with nature nature is not yours nature is of the prakriti allow it to function itself don't get in the way these doubts this identity crisis is coming because you got in the way what is coming getting in the way you got identified with whom did you get identified you got first you got identified with this body breath mind intellect and then you didn't stop there it extended to my teacher my grandfather my cousins my people my sin every medicine that you take is my sin only teramycin theramycin <laughs> deramycin it's already incorporated you are eating your own sins or you are taking that tablet for your own sins so get out of the way and again and again maintain that disposition ke sera sera whatever will be will be the future is not ours to see ke sera sera but we want to control our future we want to secure our future we want to secure our health we want to secure our mind how do you secure your mind do sudoku <laughs> do the word puzzle why because it become a oh you do this you let the mind be get out of it if you have a doubt that you are going to lose your mind you will do as much sudoku you want to do but you get out of the way mind will come back to its pristine nature you give up your desires you go back to the source then whether you can see or not see have desires or no desires it does not matter because mind will function according to the blueprint because of which it is there
Hmm? It's fascinating. I'm just saying more and more as the contemplation is going on. Each line is like a storehouse. The decision now he comes. The decision you should fight or not fight should be left to the Prakriti. Ego is a misnomer. Ego is a ghost. Individuality, there is nothing called individuality. Excuse me. What do you say? I am like this only. I am a lazy fellow. I am a dynamic fellow. I am a, I am a philanthropist. I think only business. Business is in my, uh, in every being of me is business. I, without money, I can't think. Wrong conclusions. <laughs> but this is how we speak, no, many times. We talk about our children also like this. See, he's playing with the uh, instruments. Why? Uh, I think he's going to be an engineer. He turned out to be the garbage truck driver. Because he was playing with garbage truck. In the childhood. So that got impressed. <laughs> See? But this is how we do disservice. So here when he says that to fight or not to fight, leave it to the Prakriti. Whatever is meant to happen. That great Dronacharya such knowledgeable person died on the battlefield. Guru of Arjuna. The great Bhishmacharya, the invincible one who could give up his life when he wants. He fell down by the arrows of Arjuna. Why? Why he had to fall? Why Dronacharya, the teacher had to fall? Why the other great warriors had to fall? There are many good ones on the Kaurava side also. On the opposing side, there are many good ones. It's not only bad. There are many good ones also. But why they had to fall? Because all of them just like in the Pandava side all of them are dedicated to Krishna. All of the all on the other side are dedicated to their ego. <laughs> there is doership on that side. There is surrender on this side. And surrender to whom? They have found among themselves that Krishna is an extraordinary being. He has accomplishments, powers, uh, the diplomacy and uh, whatever, what you say, whatever you name, he has it and he has it in more measure than we all put together. Since his birth, he has been fighting demons and since his birth, he has been faced with untoward circumstances and he has come out shining every time and when you ask him Krishna you did he says I don't I didn't do anything he says that I did not do anything and that is his teaching in Bhagavad Gita all these people being in the company of Sri Krishna have also started thinking like that. The only missing link was Arjuna. The weak link, not missing link, the weak link was Arjuna. Yudhishthir was very clear. Dharma must be established. That is what he wants. Bhim was very clear. I have taken a vow to drink the blood of Dushasana. 
तो आई हैव टू फाइट एंड आई हैव टू किल ही इज अ इमोशनल पर्सन द देन कम्स अर्जुना एंड बिलो अर्जुना यंगर देन अर्जुना और नकुल एंड सहदेव दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी क्लियर वॉट एवर द एल्डर ब्रदर युधिस्टेरा डिसाइड वी जस्ट फॉलो कीप क्वाइट शट अप वेरी वाइज द वीक लिंक इज अर्जुना नीदर कंप्लीटली सरेंडर टू द ब्रदर nor having like the younger brothers nor having clarity like the elder brother so when dhritarashtra sent sanjay to the camp of uh, yudhishthir all the arguments that dhritarashtra asked sanjay to present arjuna imbibed them yeah 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 he seemed correct man <laughs> and so the so came about the identity crisis usually whenever we at whenever we are at the peak of our success then crisis comes then we start whenever we are at the peak of success then we have all the security cameras around <laughs> before you used to keep the windows open doors open have a little bit more money then first come the security door then comes the security lock then comes the cameras then comes security agency then comes the security bell inside three four places in the house so if someone comes anywhere i should be able to press the button and the security will come straight away then comes well somewhere in between insurance <laughs> and if i lose everything i i should be able to claim it back All this is a sign of क्या कहेंगे इनसिक्योरिटी 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 सो वॉट आई वॉज सेइंग वॉज वेन एवर वी आर रीचिंग अवर पीक इफ वी आर नॉट अवेयर इफ वी आर नॉट चेंज द रूल्स ऑफ एंगेजमेंट वेरी सुन दैट सक्सेस विल बिकम अ फेयर इट विल टेक यू डाउन we become arrogant we become uh, you know we sing our own glory we are not sharing the success with others you see and that's when the downfall comes and then you wonder why is this happening to me what did i do wrong for any, anything or anyone so here krishna is telling arjuna the decision whether you should fight or not fight should be left to the prakriti please keep in mind that this prakriti is under the control of god who dwells in your heart so whatever is going to happen in your life or not going to happen in in your life because he is talking to arjuna who is an individual being just like you and me are individuals so whatever is going to happen or not happen in your life it is ordained by the divine not by you you are just a instrument you are just a puppet who has taken on what he created and you are a thief you are called that body which god created and you are saying it is my body you did not create it then what right do you have to say it is my body Shivaji Maharaj a great king of India who defeated the Mughals went all the way he conquered he made India the largest India you can see was around Shivaji's time he only uh, uh, what do you call was a king for 18 or 20 years something like that but all the way to Tashkent he went Tashkent or uh, Khandhar till Khandhar Kandhar Afghanistan he united the entire country in 18 years see <laughs> why was he able to do that till then he was not it is not it was not clicking youthful enthusiasm dynamism power he is the king everything but really he came to the real his own element when one day the swami 
Ramdas. He came and he, when he came, that is a tradition, he made him sit on the throne. And from there that Swami Ramdas, he declared, from today this kingdom is mine, isn't it? Shivaji Maharaj said, yes, it's yours, sir. He says, now you are the caretaker. And you will do everything that will only enhance this kingdom. Now you work. Work towards expanding the Sanatan Dharma. You work toward not by because that time the, the Mughals or the Muslims they had invaded India, they had killed so many. So it was a time to re-establish our culture, the way of life. And under his guidance, who is this? Who doesn't want anything? Does he want the kingdom? No. Did he live in the palace? No. He left and went on a mountain. And every time Shivaji Maharaj had a problem, either the teacher will come to him or he will go to the teacher. Why? Shivaji Maharaj clearly knew, I am only a caretaker. A servant always does his best. He has got no will of his own. If the master has said do this without any question, without any resentment, without any like or dislike, you have to just carry it out. <laughs> and he did and he became successful. Same thing is being told here. That without whether you should fight or not fight, don't get it. Don't get into that option. Wherever we have vikalpas in our mind, whenever we have we give ourselves options while living, it leads to frustration. That frustration leads to depression. That depression leads to crisis. <laughs> depression is crisis. Don't give yourself options. So what is the way of Vaikhari Madhyama Pashantipara? From many thoughts in Vaikhari to less thoughts in Madhyama, to zero thoughts in Pashyanti, to transcendent, go, going beyond thoughts in Para. Dharna Dhyan Samadhi, from little, little focus to continuous focus to going beyond focus. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sit quietly for a few moments and then